We got a spicy one for you today. I got that fresh cut. I got that fresh attitude. I got that sparkle in my eye. This was such a good series of games. We had James, the one James. James coming through. He's a Twitch streamer, streams arena constantly, went full time. I'm super proud of the steps he's taken. And he builds amazing EDH decks as well. He was so happy to come out and play EDH because it's not something he streams on the regular. He came through with a very spicy Tuvasa list. It's not something you normally expect to see in a comp game. And he played it masterfully. There were some really, really good interactions, some great surprises, and it's a great deck. It's got a draw engine on it. How's it like? It's hard to complain, truly. Very, very strong. We had Rachel Weeks of the CAG coming through with an Orvar deck. Now, she had mentioned that she hadn't played this deck very often. She was kind of play testing it live and she played it really really well it's a very convoluted deck to play i've played against a number of, a number of people one of the fellows from roll for crypt was out here slinging it i played against dorman from the ramp gang running it played against a bunch of people who play this deck and i have to say it is not an easy one to remember the lines it's super convoluted there's some very tricky layering interactions you can do with it and rachel came through and as I would expect from any one of my guests, played it masterfully. It's a very strong deck, and once it's on a roll, boy, is it rolling. We had Bear Claymore coming through. Bear Claymore has an awesome CEDH channel that really kind of gets new players to come into it. It's something that I'm so proud to see other people out there doing, because it's something that we aspire to, is to kind of remove the stigma from CEDH, get new players to play it, and Bear Claymore is out there doing exactly that. Hopefully we can get maybe Cyrus to throw in uh, a graphic for their channel, like here, right? Or on this side, maybe, somewhere. And we'll link it down below because it's really, really cool what they're doing out there. Uh, Bear came through with a Jessica Ishai deck. It's something I've run into time and time again. I think I found a new foil to it, but uh, Jessica Ishai is a very strong deck. So much interaction built in, and with that just big steamroll Ishai and removal built in on Jessica, it's just so scary to play against. Very scary against creature strategies, very scary against combo strategies. It's just like the full package. It's so, so cool to play against. And I am running uh, the CEDH build of my Dalsum deck. You're gonna be seeing this deck a lot. I'm working very hard to tune it to make it a viable CEDH deck. It's a Timna in the command zone with built-in evasion, which is so cool. There's some cheeky meme strategies you can throw in there, which I love. I'm honestly considering Hidden Spider on this list. I love this deck. I love playing card advantage stuff. I draw so many cards with this deck. I love it. And Reach Tribal protects from Ishai. Gotta love it. Enjoy this game. Let me know what you think of all three of these commanders in the comments. All four of these commanders in the five? There's, oh yeah, there's a partner commander in there. All five of these commanders in the comments. I wanna give a huge shout out to all of our sponsors. There's so many different ways to support the channel right now. First of all, it's gonna be altersleeves.com. It's a great way to support us. Use Mental Misplay at checkout and we'll get an affiliate bonus. And you can also support all the incredible artists on there like Dama Rider, Neuromancer, and Bearded Tales as well. We also wanna give a huge shout out to our main sponsors, moxfield.com. This is the best deck building website, hands down. You can use the deck tester. You've seen us all use it to play literally any deck. You could just plug and play. Honestly, it's so incredible. There's so many other incredible features like Scryfall integration, ADH rec integration. You can just click buy deck and it brings you right to TCG player. Go to moxfield.com. It's free to make an account. Give us a follow so we can see the awesome new decks you guys build. We also want to give a shout out to our newest affiliate, Pinfinity AR. They make augmented reality, heavy duty enamel pins with uh, magic related content on them. They either look like cards or different icons or set pieces, whatever from the newest sets. We're really, really excited to be partnered with these guys. Use mental misplay at checkout and you get 20% off of your first order or your first subscription. They've even got a subscription box that you get stuff sent to you consistently. The best way to support us is through patreon.com. Go over there, check it out. We've got some good benefits now. We're going to be revamping it in the future, so there's going to be all different ways that you can get benefits from supporting us. It's going to allow us to do incredible things like get new equipment and to travel going forward in the future. I'm really looking forward to getting out there in Magic Fest and high-fiving everybody who's watched the channel. Thank you so much for all the support that you've given us so far. Be good, be safe out there. All right, let's go. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to go Battleful Promenade and play Noble Hierarch and pass. Nice. Uh, we'll draw for turn. Ooh. Um, I'm going to play an island, and I will cast a Crow Mox pitching a Dizzy spell. 
Uh, excuse for the written Chrome Mox. I'm going to sub it in for Winota's Chrome Mox just for clarity's sake. Uh, and then I'm going to pay blue and cast a Mystic Remora. Ooh, solid. And I'll pass. Very solid. Wow. Okay. I'll draw. Eric Claymore okay, looking at this... his three mana rocks. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Uh, <laughs> no, um... How, how what's what's the agreement on this fish? What, what's the uh, if, if if you cast a non-creature spell, uh, if if any of my opponents cast a non-creature spell, I can draw a card unless you pay four. Yeah, no, no, no. I know. I'm. I'm what's, yeah. asking, what's the? Are you feeding yeah, it or not? And, and I'm not gonna feed it. Yeah. But what's the agreement? I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, sorry about that. Yeah. I will. I, I'm not feeding it on my turn this turn, but next turn I may end up but, feeding yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Okay, I'll just go with a uh, Eric Mesa and pass. Oh, I should set my commander. I think that's important. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up what your commander does. At least. Mr. Kermora is is like is like the most group hug card to play because mm -hmm. as soon as it comes down, everyone agrees. Yeah, everyone's like, "Well, that's a problem." <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna drop a Misty, and I will crack it for a Savannah. in here somewhere i was all excited i was building this and i was like i know i've gotten an og brushland somewhere where is it where is it and i was digging through all my cards and i found it i was like oh, with the pumpkins on it and all that <laughs> stuff i was so yeah, pumped. I, I know you were all excited about I, I know like i don't get a chance to play this uh, my cedh deck a lot so i'm super excited to just be playing it um i and a huge, huge thank you to Neil Royal for sending me a full set of Monster Hunter themed dual lands. Uh, <laughs> I got my Monster Hunter themed Savannah here. Um, I'm going to tap that down and play the super fair and balanced turn one Sarah Ascendant. And oh, no. I will pass the turn. All right. I'm feeling death. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Okay. I'm just going to go with Sea of Clouds and cast Tuvasa the Sunlit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass turn. I will end up. And I'll pay for the fish. Draw for turn. Play an island as my land for turn. And then we'll cast uh... Yeah, we're gonna pay one, cast a mana vault. Ooh. Um, and then we'll cast over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pass the turn. Uh, yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> there we go. On your end step, I'll crack my my land. Stay alive. Uh, searching. I'm not scared. You are. Think. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing other than casting my commander and hoping. <laughs> you're going to be making lots of I mean, this is what you're going to be doing. <laughs> yeah, that's what the Orvar player would say. Yeah. Look at this uh, Hallow Phantom. These spells are about to target this mana vault. Right. <laughs> that's the thing. I, out, I should figure out something to do with the mana vault. <laughs> Like, okay, you can make a bunch of mana vaults. Now what? <laughs> Taking my turn, drawing for turn. Well, and, I guess I can tell um, you that you could have enough mana to pay for Remora for the next 18 turns. That's, that's true. <laughs> I think that's more what I want to do is just copy the fish. Let's see. Oof. I'm going to... just going to play this uh, Sea of Clouds and... Um... I think I'd like to not feed the fish, but I'd like to trade your Sarah for this Gilded Drake. No! I hate that. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, rip. That's uh, in the stack anyway. So Yeah, uh, I, I have no response. I, just, I, I put sadness on the stack. Um, <laughs> I get a Gilded Drake. Whip. 
That is a spicy Gilded Drake, I must say. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Two mana Sarah Ascendant, got... still good. <laughs> I got it. So, yeah, after that, I'll pass. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> That's a good personification of sadness, I must say. There you go. Um, all right. Well, you have my Sarah Ascendant. That's harsh. Uh, untap. Big draws. Ooh, that is the very useless in this board. Um, I will drop a Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. Everybody's got forests now. Uh, I will feed the fish. Uh, I'm going to drop a Jewel Lotus. I will drop. And I'm going to tap and crack it and put Dalsum out there. And I will come at Rachel in the air for three. I have no blocks. I will draw a card. And pass the turn. Oh, never a creature control with reach attacks. Wow. Is hexproof unless he's attacking? <laughs> it's Again. just this it's all over I'm the never place. Wondering. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. One or more. So you can only draw one. You right? can only draw one per person per you hit. Per so if I swing Simna, if I swing ish. wide, I can draw three. Yeah. Okay. Um, but if I swing two at one person, I draw one. Big sad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, I don't I, I expect that reach clause to come in to play at the some point. reach clause. Like I've got a couple <laughs> of reach cre reachy creatures in here, but not many. Um, reachy creatures. Uh, reachy creatures. The re yeah, the reachy creatures. They're few and far between. Uh, the the um the casual version has some real good ones like um. Uh, it's got dumb shit like frog tongue in there and uh, <laughs> what's the other one? We got <laughs> whip tongue hydra is a classic, and then my favorite, the the best reachy creature, hidden spider. Uh, <laughs> I chose not. <laughs> I chose not to put uh, hidden spider in this one. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'll pass the turn from there though. Off to you, James. All right. Uh, I well, I guess Dalsum itself has reach, so yep. that's it. That's yeah. the major mm -hmm. reachy creature here. Yeah, it's. I right, put like a uh, Elder Gargaroth is chilling in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I love that one. <laughs> I it's I can't even look at that card without laughing because it's just so pushed. It's just the <laughs> stupidest shit. It's just so op. <laughs> uh, what am I gonna do here? Well, I don't want to feed the fish. So, I am going to tap three for Heliod Suncrown, trigger to Vasa to draw a card. Mm-hmm. That'll enter Gee. the battlefield. Now, my two is a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I don't have any good attacks here, so I'm just going to uh, play my Breeding Pool tapped and pass. All right, I will untap. Well, here we go, untapping with Orvar. So I have Mystic Remora on the stack. Let's see if I can do something cute here. I think I need to keep it, honestly. I do. This. You don't need to. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Let the copy shenanigans begin. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to start every one of Rachel's turns by saying, are we dead? Hmm? I will have to tutor at least once. I think exiling the dizzy spell was a big mistake. Hmm. Um, but that's okay. We're learning. So if I pay this, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to cast Dramatic Reversal and untap. And, I, and the fish is two. I think. Uh, for localist and Sunny Deed, thank you so much. For I'm just going to tap the mana vault for to pay for the fish. So right. Maybe a waste of a dramatic reversal, but I think I need to keep everybody off for a turn. I'm going to pay an island. I'm going to pay three. I'm going to cast a Narset, Parter of Veils. Oh, shit. I, got my uh, I know, yeah, I know where this 
Sarah's ascendant's gonna go. Uh, so this will go to three. Uh, I look at the top four. Four. How um, much does anyone I, else care about this Narset? I'm clenched. Uh, <laughs> you're clenched. <laughs> uh, so is that all? Your, your hands, very right? High, your hands. High amount of care yeah. level. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'd be really surprised if, like, a, um, if a, if a windfall came out of this. Um, yeah, there's no whole breacher, obviously. <laughs> what could Was you be worried spinning, about? I revealed a clock spinning, yes, okay. which is buyback three. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Ooh, okay. That was a turn. I'll move to my turn then. I'll untap and draw the fish. The fish of it all. Um, oh, interesting. So you can use clock spinning to remove a uh, counter from the Mystic Remora and make a copy of it. Crazy. And, yeah. and also Narset. Yeah. Yeah. Planeswalkers are really good with Orvar, but... Um, I only have the Safe. one. Yeah. That's really cool. I put, I put JPMS in here just because I was like, I don't know. <laughs> he's, I don't know. I can do he's it. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> it seems okay. Hey, I don't know if this is the right move. I'll play this Spire of Industry. Um, and then I'd like to put a Lotus Petal on the stack. Mm. Yep. Are you going to pay four? Nope. You can get it. Yeah, the irony right. of if you paid four, the Lotus Petal on the stack. Yeah, right? Mm. Four mana treasure token. Feels good. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> then. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap pay a life and. Tap Spire of Industry for red. Then tap this two. I'm gonna cast Jessica, Rise Reborn. Mm hmm. Uh, I will draw. Yikes. You all um, good with that? Uh, Elder Rage Mage, thank you for the follow. Oh, uh, yeah, no responses. She, she comes in with one counter on her, right? Yep. Okay. You can triple the Sarah damage. That's terrifying. Yup. Classic. When I uh, I built um. <laughs> God, that's insane. Oh, uh, what's the stupid <laughs> deck? I built uh, the. Uh, I can't. I can't even freeze thief. I built Sinestra's freeze thief list and ended up doing like that sort of shit. Like it's just so crazy that you can. It gets. Yeah, Tri triple that. Like it's so gross. I don't know if it was. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I just built Jessica Ishai and did that and was like, "Oh, gross, horrible." Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cyrus is in the chat. What's up, Cyrus? Good to see you. Hey, Cyrus. That's my guy. So, um, is Jessica okay with uh, everybody? Then I mean, um, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, yeah. No, yes, yeah. No, no, no responses. <laughs> we'll we'll put it that way. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so I'll zero Jessica, targeting mm -hmm. Sarah. Move to combat. And uh, Rachel, mm -hmm. you're a scary I, one. I will take an tidy 18. Go to 19. Baby. Yeah. And there goes 18 life. No big deal. What's up, Good Infinite old, Tokens? Old, you can see where I'm going. We're going to put some God, more. I have to show off my Infinite Tokens, now, don't I? <laughs> For a second, I forgot about the life link. Um, yeah. After that, uh, damage resolves. Uh, second main, uh, I'd like to play this Mox Opal, mm. which is not in line. So I'll I just draw. Wait. You can draw. Yeah. And then I'll move to end step and pass. All right. Um, untap. Upkeep. Rachel with the casual nine Trailer. cards in hand. Uh, just five. Uh, oh, it yeah, sucks. Many things. It sucks because <laughs> if I swing and take out the 
Narset and Punch Bear at the same time, I don't get to draw the extra card, right? Because it sees yeah. it sees the Narset sees the damage happen, which is a big bummer. Um, I am going to because Tavasa draws draws you cards too, right? Yup. Um, mm hmm. Hmm. That's Thanks, a, Infinite Tokens. This is an Andre Garcia original. Uh, oh, man. So many tough options here. Well, uh, land for turn is going to be a Yavimaya Hollow. Um, I... Why am I punching harder than I did playing standard today? I am <laughs> going to... Uh, oh, and you get to gain the life, Bear. You gain Do I? from Sarah. Yeah, Sarah Sendon has life link. You gain eighteen oh, life. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't kick him. Okay. Pretty no, good. No, no, no. <laughs> right? Does it? Does Puzzle, it... bake claymore. Your your bear claymore. You're probably yep. not dying anytime soon. Um. Oh, I hate it. Uh. I'm trying to figure out if the right move is to like what the what the right move is. Well, I'm going to I'm going to fuck uh How many cards do you have in hand, James? 6. 6. Okay. So, and it's only your first enchantment spell each turn that draws you a card, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to come after Narset with the uh with the Drake. Do I want to keep a Narset? Nah, you don't want to keep a Narset. I mean... I do I lose that? So you could technically clock spinning the Narset, and then he's no longer attacking the Narset, then you make another one and Legend rule it? Is that how that works? Yes, yeah, that would be... So if I could make a copy of Narset, um, and then pick the one with more counters on it, but then I lose my clock spinning. I think I'm. I think I'm just gonna let Narset go here. Solid. Um, well, a choice. I don't love, but it's a choice. Uh, I'm gonna do a bird. We're gonna make bird. Bird. And then. Uh, hmm. I'll ship it from there. Draw. Um, I, I thought pretty in response, hard. Oh. In response to your draw, I'm going to pay one. I'm going to cast Clock Spinning without buyback. And I'll remove a counter and make a copy of the Mystic Remora. Uh, I, I'm going to respond. I'm going to respond to that. Uh, well, okay. okay. Let's let's pass it around. Um, okay, uh, yeah. um, well, there. I guess Warvar would trigger first. Orvar triggers first, so it makes a copy of the Ristic. So the Orvar, or Mystic, excuse me. The it's, a, it's a trigger, cast trigger. Yeah, the ca it's a cast trigger. Okay, so the Orvar yeah. trigger happens regardless. Okay, yes. gotcha. Interesting. Um. Okay. Uh. Any responses, Bear? Priority. I take. I, I get clock spinnings on the stack, right? Yeah. Yes, clock spinnings on the mm. stack. So there's. So this is still it too. Hmm. No, I'll pass priority. Yeah, I I didn't realize that it's like a trigger that goes on the stack. I will also yeah. pass no, a cast. Trigger. Okay. Sorry yeah, to interrupt you there, James. When, yeah, when you cast an instant or sorcery, if it targets more than one permanent, so yeah, it just it's on cast. Brutal. So you so you just like get the Mystic Remora regardless. Yes, yeah, so you get the copy of of the Mystic or Mystic Remora. Yes. I guess um, I will. I I guess I will respond to the because like think thinking about it now uh i will respond to fuck i don't know um yeah sure it happens okay. <laughs> I, i'm probably gonna regret this can you touch the root of ruling real quick yeah yeah i mean technically the Orbar, Orbar's trigger goes on the stack. It, it can still be stifled. 
Yeah. Yeah. Potentially. But uh, I don't have yeah. the Selesnia stifle in this. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> slot it up. <laughs> Alan, come on. I'm slacking. I you're asked the failing one, me. You're failing me. <laughs> I asked my buddies what I should put in there. Nobody suggested Selesnia stifle. So it was like <laughs> stifle of the conclave or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> There's that white one that silence that ends combat. Yep. I always thought that card was cool. There's a couple of stupid Mandate ones. Of peace. There's and then there's like your Orem's chant type of stuff and like, yeah, there's yeah, all of sorts course. of goofy stuff you can slot into white. But yeah, I didn't. Uh, I'm not running the really dumb stuff. No mana tithe, sadly. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no lapse of certainty. Um, so. But, I, yeah, I, lapse of certainty counters a spell that targets a permanent you control. Is that what the Step is on that. I think so. I I know it counters. Well, I mean, let's let's look it up, right? We can type it right yeah, into the little. We have access here. to the internet. Crazy. I mean, I guess I'll just go to my main phase. That I, I I'll just uh, I guess that just happens. Okay, <laughs> that's that, that's what I said, and I was <laughs> I did not say it in a happy Gosh. way. <laughs> Gosh, Orvar, Orvar is uh yeah that's uh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess not that. a casual card. Yeah, well, Orvar says, um, if you don't have Stifle, everything goes through. Yep. Yeah, I, it, I, it happens. I made sure to snap one up real quick for my cube, because I knew it would be, like, big shenanigans. So, mm -hmm. um, Lapse of Certainty says counter target spell, uh, but it puts it on, oh, top nice. of the, on top of the library, and it does cost three okay. mana. <laughs> oh, <man>. no. <laughs> stifle, uh, cancel with a stipulation. <laughs> feels <gross. laughs> Well, I, I guess I'll continue my turn then, I guess, and I will. Yeah. I will use these to uh, cast fertile ground on breeding pool, and you can get two draws, I guess. Uh, draw two. And I will draw a card from Tuvasa. One I was thinking was Dawn Charm. Oh yeah. And it it counters target spell that targets you. It's even more narrow than I thought. <laughs> uh. I got, uh, I think that's fuck vowels uh, with no vowels in the name uh, with the follow. Thank you so much. It's a good, it's a good name. <laughs> uh, and then, gosh, this is just bad, very bad. Uh, yikes. I should have taken I, I guess, one. I guess I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm just. I guess I'm just passing to Rachel. Go ahead. Okay, I will untap. So I've got two. This one is one. This one is two. Do I want to pay for both of these? If I pay for three, that seems pretty bad. So. Uh, I will pay one, and I think I'm actually going to let this one go. Um, I have to take one more from... Another. Yeah, I think... <laughs> so I'm going to play a Misty Rainforest as my land for turn. <laughs> the other day I was playing, and I built a Nashi deck, and I love it. But uh, I built it, like, real fast off of somebody else's list and jammed in some cards that maybe shouldn't be in there, like a Misty Rainforest. Um, <laughs> it's uh, notably not an illegal card, but um, it doesn't really work so well. Um, sorry, sorry I'm uh, figuring out how exactly this works. Does that do what I want? I guess it works if you have some synergies with, like, if you sacrifice a permanent, X happens. Yep, the sacrifice stuff, as well as, like, you know, if you get a Nurborg out there, you're doing all right. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> or if you need that shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you're like, I'm just pulling it for the shuffle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't actually get a land. Yo. Um, I mean... One, two, three. Specifically with Nashi being able to play stuff off the top, it, it does become, like, the thinnest little sl sliver of relevant. Play, <laughs> like play, if, their, play their brainstorm and cook a combo. Yeah, if you know that there's land. garbage up there. Rachel, um, in the tank. I, I'm so sorry. No, this is, good. like, 
so you know messy. What? With all those draws, there's there's got to be so many options. We've it's also like you j just the the lines are a little different than the casual build. Believe it or not, um, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay three, and I'm gonna cast a spell seeker. Ooh. <laughs> that um, feels like oh, that's a spell seeker on the stack. Oh, Sick. Man. Big spooky dukes. Um, big spooky. <laughs> big spooky. Spooky, spooky dukes for sure. I just uh, do not I'll like. I'll pass on that. Uh, I, I hate this. Uh, I'm I'm gonna respond. I'm I, going to attempt this. to. I'm gonna attempt to path Orvar. Path Orvar with Spellseeker on the stack. R rather um, than like waiting till you get whatever nightmare of a spell that you're gonna yeah, get. Yeah, I'm not oh. <laughs> really sure what I'm getting, but I. Oh, well, what's up? Yeah, because as soon as the other thing is cast, then. Then you well, get to, then there's coast. gonna be like six Mystic Remoras or whatever. Well, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, I mean I'm kind of uh, choked on. I guess mana. you get a draw trigger? Uh, yes, that is correct. Yep. So I draw off the path. Uh. I, I don't. I don't, I don't love it, but I'm going to. I'm going to force <laughs> pitching Gilded Drake. <laughs> force? Yeah. All right. I. Th I think hold I on, have to. Hold on. I this think so. Continuing, and I'm next. Force on the sack. Uh, I'll pass. I'll pass on force. Yeah. No response. Oh my gosh. That, oh my goodness. Bro, Broba Fat with the follow. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a powerful force. That's yeah. I mean, this is probably not optimal, but you know, we're fun first, aren't we? Ra Rachel yeah. is telling us very clearly she does not need that basic land. Uh <laughs> I would love. To give, I would love. I, yeah, I would love to give you a draw, man, Rachel. So I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm helping you, Rachel. I'm giving you a draw. No. no. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let's um, see. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and Jovin's veto the force. Whoa. Okay. So I get a draw off the Dovin's Veto. Uh, I have no response to the Dovin's Veto. So the force will be count. Well, the force will be awakened. Do I have a response? I don't think. I... Oh, wait. But you oh, took no. it out. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Can I walk this back a little bit? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you got? So draw, draw trigger, mystic draw trigger. Mm hmm. Forces, forces. Look, I mean, oh, no, because or, 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 go ahead. What were you going to uh, say? It trigger. I was going to say uh, it does, that doesn't trigger Orbor, right? No. No, it, tr it's the, it triggers the Mystic Remora. Mm. Is is what I mean? Is the do the Mystic Remora on the stack? So I'm. Um, Nuno Piata, what's up? Thanks for the follow. Up. Um. I am going to instead of just letting the instead of just drawing off of the the mystic, I'm gonna fetch with the misty. I'm gonna find mystic sanctuary, and I'm gonna draw clock spinning. Oh, that's actually hilarious and insane. Yeah, so I draw the clock spinning off the top. Yeah, that this this deck is is gonna take me a while. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> There's no, a fine. lot of bullshit that goes on. From, and Mystic Sanctuary puts a spell into your hand, correct? Yeah, so, well, on Mystic Sanctuary that. puts it on top. So, I, uh, top. from my graveyard. So, Clock Spinning's in my graveyard. Gotcha. In response to the draw trigger from the in Dovin's to the Veto? Draw from the Dovin's Veto, yeah. Awesome. Sick. So, I'll draw the Clock Spinning. I'm so bad not casting Ishai before, because it would be like yeah. 2020 right now. Um, yeah, that's, right? Oh, God. That's All right, part so, of why I'm okay uh, casting so, the path. <laughs> clock, clock spinning on top. Draw that from the, that. The Dovin's Veto counters the force. Um, and then with the path on the stack, I'll cast a clock spinning targeting Mystic Remora. Solid. I think that's just... Oh, broken. Yeah, uh, so that removes this counter, and clock spinning goes back to the graveyard, and then Orvar is pathed. I go get a island. 
All right. And then hey, is... spell seeker resolve. I go find a, a spell. Yeah, for right. a spell seeker. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why we came out here. This is spicy magic. Oh my god. Okay. Um, uh, fellow and, dreamer in the chat, Nuno Patao. How's it going? And, and and now we all get beat to death by a bird. Uh, yeah, I just—I I mean, I just die to bear. Is the a issue monk? Here, it's so. a monk. Oh wait, uh, all of that was just a ploy to get her to get her to tap out. Uh, like I don't really have, like I have no mana. Yeah. I've already played my land. I have two. I'm just dead. I think. I don't know what I find. That's a big old bird. Um, I'm just kidding. That's not a bird. It's a, it's a human monk. That's a big old human monk. I don't it think is. there's anything, and I don't think there's a like a submerge or something is what I'm looking for. But I can't, I can't even find submerge with spell seeker. So what am I talking about? Because <laughs> the island comes untapped, so I don't, I don't think there's anything I can cast that's free. All right, I, yeah, I think I'm just dead. But what am I gonna find? Yeah, with no mana, it makes it like there's not a lot of no mana. Uh, yeah, to, I should have prevent I, eighteen damage spells. Yeah, there's there's like a I was submerge. trying to think if there was like a, a, a submerge, which I can't find with uh, with spell seeker. Mm, it's only instant. It's a two CMC or less. Ah, yeah, gotcha. uh, is is the main issue. Yeah, I, I there's nothing nah. I can find that will stop me from dying. So I well, will. I mean, I mean, just in case Paraclaimer wants to keep you alive. Yeah, you know, I'll get, I'll get. You know what? What's like a fun spell that maybe I'll want to stay alive for? <laughs> oh my gosh! The ultimate. <laughs> like, I, I'm getting this spell, which will be fun if you let me live. That is is <laughs> very very good table politics. Well, it, it would have to be like the best spell. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's the best spell? Is it high tide? High tide seems like a good one. <laughs> uh, uh, real good for everyone with islands, for sure. Um, I, I I can't find anything. Go, go ahead, Bear. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Take my turn. I have the force for the um, Jessica, and I didn't use it, and uh, that's... Draw for turn. Sarah ascendant. I didn't even get to also, use it once. <laughs> I also pitched. I also pitched the gilded drake. Like I had a way to steal it. I don't know what. I, but then I would have just yep. gotten. I don't know what the hell was happening that turn. See, there's too many things going on. Yeah, I think and, 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 uh, I got excited like, about my first stack. <laughs> <laughs> and, and literally everyone at the table is just clenching all together at the same time just terrified and i was like i need a flyer or i die <laughs> all right what do you uh, got for us claymore well i will be zeroing on jessica <gasps> you know what i could have targeting done targeting sarah what? Hilarious. I could have removed the counter from Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, it's, oh, way, it's, it's way too late. It's way too late to oh do that. God, but that's, that's so, so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, being, yeah. I Yeah, no, I will happily die to well, Sarah and learn oh, how this deck works. But that absolutely would have saved me. Oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, totally. <laughs> I'm actually enshrining you into the CDH Hall of Fame. Uh, just the, the lines. Yeah. I will take 18. Uh, Going at uh, you. Girl. Yeah. Ugh, so now. dumb. I see it now. Ugh. Also, it would probably, it would have been cheaper to just let Orbart go and just recast him. Yeah, but I don't like my mana vaults tapped, and I I'm literally I was literally holding three islands at the time, and uh, and like <laughs> I, I just had no gas, you well, know. Good to know. So <laughs> well, just so you know, I mean, I I would have been able to cast Jessica again. I'm gonna I'm gonna play now on my second main a chroma a chrome mox. Yep. I'm gonna imprint this uh, mental misstep. Ooh, nice, and the hey. chrome mox turns on the mox opal as well. Spooky. Indeed. And that's gonna actually. I'm I'm gonna just hold for a second. I'm just gonna tap these two, and I'm gonna put a malevolent hermit on the stack. 
Fuck Gary. That's in this one too. I don't like that guy. <laughs> He's a, a fun guy. What's what's its PT? What good is old, what's it at? Good old guy. Two. It's a two one. Two one. It's so good. <laughs> With that, uh, I'm empty handed. I'll move to unstep. Empty handed too. All right. Untap. Oh my gosh, empty handed, but with a counter spell on the board. Uh -huh. Oh nice. Not Love that. That's the game means. actions. I will do. I will just. We'll start with punchies. Um, I will come after James in the air with the uh, with the Drake and um, and I will come after ooh, Jessica on the ground seems dumb uh, because casting it again gives it two, which I guess I'm. At the same amount of risk, I do. I'm feeling greedy. I want the two cards, but the 18 life is tough. Um, and I, I guess your commander untaps right now. Uh, yes, the commander untaps when I attack with it. I will come at Jessica with uh, with Dalson. So one, and I will take the three. I'm gonna Jessica with Dalson. Okay, I will. Hmm. I'll block with the hermit. Yeah. Is it just me, or does anyone of you that know Pokemon think that Dalsum looks like a combination of like Machamp and Blaziken, and it also has like Fierce Punch, which sounds like a Pokemon attack. It makes me think of um, the guy from One Piece. That's yep. also true. Luffy for sure. Yeah. Um, I will pay. Oh. Two for a uh, talisman of unity, and then Jessica's still up. It's kind of spooky too. Um, I will pay two more uh, for Dranith. Oh my goodness. That's Dang scary. it. And I will pass the turn from there. And is there uh, the only creature on the board right now is for you, Bear Claymore? Wait, oh, I guess it died. How, how did, oh, died. did you block yeah. with it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Protect Jessica. Jessica might go down now. You have no other creatures That's besides this, Sarah? Correcto. I'll draw. Uh, what's up, everyone? Good to see you. How we doing, friendo? I'm Oni as well. I see you. I see all you guys. Uh, I am not winning. Um, I'm playing. Uh <laughs> it was a, yeah, there was a big evening out, I think. The Sarah is a real issue, which is so funny. Sarah Jessica is just oh, so I wanted... crazy. I wanted to ask because I didn't know how it would interact and I just kind of threw it out. So you Gilded Drake, Gilded Drake on the stack, copy Gilded Drake. You just swap them normally, right? You just steal two things and give away two Drakes? Uh, like trigger on the stack, can you do that or does it enter and swap? I think it enters. I'm not sure if it targets and then let's see. Doesn't target. It just enters under your opponent's control? Yeah, under it enters as. Well, let me see. What, I gotta control. I was trying to find my Change find control my for target. Oh, no, it does target. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, so, you could, so I could have stolen a couple of things. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I want to go ahead and play uh, here. Enters under yours, doesn't target. Yeah, I, think, I think you have like a brief. Okay. So there is a window to to do it. See, should have asked before. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go two mana for Herald of the Pantheon, which makes my enchantments cost one less and gain a life uh, whenever I uh, cast one. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and pay three mana, including a white for Smothering Tie, then draw a card and gain a life. 
Yep. Now, um, Tuvasa is a one, two, three, four power, and I'm going to uh, attack Jessica with Tuvasa. That's so good. Yeah, Jessica's dead. And I'll pass turn. All right. I'll be happy to untap. And then Smothering Tithe. Uh, let me draw and decide. Um... Let's see. You're out of mana right now, right? I'm out of mana, yes. Mm. Let's see. I'll pay I'll pay two for smothering tide. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Uh oh. He I mean he does have a lot of mana yeah. to be fair. Yeah. But and then Huh, let's see. So you're tapped out, you're tapped out. I got uh I got two. You, oh you do, yes, yes. I see this. I see those now. Uh carting hand. Three. <clears throat> I have six. Six. That's uh I'd like to pay two life because I have a little bit of life there. I'm gonna get probe uh, you, James. Dashing probe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How do I show you specifically in my hand? You can block if you if you click on the uh, three dots on top of each of of the players. You can block that particular player from uh, seeing your video. What I would rather do is um, I, oh. I I I'm just gonna put my face down. Just show it to the camera, and uh, that way the audience can see it and. When uh, I put yeah. this up on the YouTube, they'll be able to see it as well. The video as well. Yeah, that, that makes sense. All right, so okay. just show you. You're looking away, Alan? Yep, 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 yep. Head down. Mm -hmm. so can, I'll put my face down on the battlefield. That makes you feel better. See my, <laughs> my okay, got it. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm, yep. Gee. <laughs> that. Okay. You know what I that is? I know what that is. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I see the drawing now. Um. Okay. Got it. Cool. Got it. Okay. Thanks. Is that it? Yeah. And then I will draw a card. I will never... Like, every time somebody yeah. casts Cataxian Probe now and, like, has reactions to the hand and stuff, like, I will never forget uh who was it um brian koval casting getaxian probe on me and me showing him my hand of just absolute gas and he was just <laughs> poker face just absolute stone cold not a <laughs> peep out of him and i was like uh okay like <laughs> it was like absurd it was like i was playing with we were like laughing about it like just like wow this this is crazy <laughs> I, I was like legit intimidating <laughs> but yeah your oh, hand was completely uh, gas and he was like all right cool okay <laughs> i'm gonna play this uh sacred foundry uh, i'm gonna pay two life well as a matter of fact let me think about that um the thing is uh Yeah, I think I'll pay two life. Uh, what the hell? I have some life. And then I'm going to pay one white. One blue paying a life. Well, I guess it was all the same. No, I won't pay a life. Sorry. Uh, I'll just type it for colorless, white, blue, and two more. Uh, I'm gonna put Ishai on the stack. Uh, Draneth. Draneth. That is a thing that I can that I should have seen. So I cannot even cast that. That is true. Draneth is there. So yeah, I'll just move to combat. Um, you have the rich feature on your side, Alan. So I'll uh, attack you, James, with Sarah. 
a 5-5 five, five flyer. 6-6 six, six flyer, sorry. I take 6, ouch. I'll take 6 more. And after that, I will move to Enstep and pass. By the uh, way, I did not gain the my life from last attack to Rachel. Yep, you're good for that. So. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, let me know if you would like to pay the two after you draw your card, Alan. Um, yeah, I'll let you know. Big draws. Uh, I will... This is fun. I'll pay the two by tapping down these green sources. Oh. Um, Interesting. Because, surprise, surprise, I drew a soul ray. Let's <laughs> 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 go. It's like, mm, it costs Just me what I want to see with the Smothering Tithe, everyone with infinite mana. Cost me yep. extra mana to do it, which is a bummer, but that's okay. Um, I will do punches. I will come after... Uh, James in the air for three, and um, and uh, bear on the ground for one. Yep, the blockers. All right, Dalsum on taps. I will draw two. Okay. Um. I will. Be a mega pain in the ass, I think, is the plan. And big stacks <laughs> card. Two, three, four, and I will play my own smothering tithe. Oh, <laughs> everybody smothered. Very smothering out here. Uh, and I'll ship from there. I'll pass. Okay. We go to feeding the fish to paying the tithes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw. I'll see if I want to pay for anything. Um, hmm. How many cards in hand, Alan? Uh, four. Nice. Am I paying? You can get a treasure. Sweet. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pay one with Noble Hierarch for Flickering Ward on Tuvasa. Triggers to draw a card. Triggered to gain a life from Herald. Uh, yeah, I'm... No response. I'll pass. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll play Odawara Soaring City as my land. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then... Hmm. Oh, uh, do you pay for the two off of the draw from your uh, enchantment? No. Hell yeah. Um... The Herald is not an enchantment creature, everyone. This is interesting. 
Oh, I have to choose a color when flickering warden's battlefield. I say I'll say protection from uh white. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if I was protection from white, then flickering ward wouldn't even stay on the on the card, right? Uh uh Yeah, it falls off. I'm, I'm so I can't say white, right? I'm pretty I'm like ninety five percent sure. That's so weird. Flickering ward. This effect doesn't remove flickering ward. It's been eroded. Enchanted creature has protection from the chosen color. This effect doesn't remove flickering ward. Oh, oh. The, so the new flickering ward says that on it. Yeah, it's just a it's been it's just eroded. Just got a nice extra sentence there. Okay, so I guess I'll just say white then. And it yeah. won't remove it, right? Nope, just it goes no. right on it. Okay, cool. Um, I will pay two. Actually, that's a little bit of a weird interaction. Hmm. Wow, this is actually really, really crazy. I'm gonna swing to Vasa. No, I'm not gonna swing to Vasa. I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Hmm. Passing. Nothing to see okay. here. Just passing turn. Yeah. This is actually really crazy. Pass. <laughs> you, know, you know, like, because I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, if I do something, then, like, something else happens, and then I'm in a, board, a worse position. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, I guess I'm just not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm going to untap. Vant as not. Vant as not, yeah. Upkeep, draw. And ping. Okay. Two. I will be... Yeah, what the hell? I'll pay two. You ain't get you ain't getting more treasures. And then I'll um, pay two more. Yep. You have to pay for, for both of us. Yeah, there's two. Dang it. <laughs> um You already have two treasures, Helen. Um I'll pay it. Ooh, all right. What a hero. Uh, Blue and white for my own Dranith on the stack. Nice. Um, yep. It, that body. If that's okay. Uh, awesome. Yeah, no responses. No, cool. no response for me. Uh, what's going to happen if I attack again? Um, you have your Pantheon. Okay. No flyers yet. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. All right. Untap. Draw. I will. Um. This is big dangerous. Uh. That's what I was thinking last turn. Then I did nothing. No, I meant whether or not I pay the um, pay the tax. Uh, I'll pay it with the soul ring. Um, I'm going to tap. Uh, four, and play Toski. Ooh. Oh, sick. Yep, there was all. Um, sadly, not getting in with a ton of creatures. Um. Yeah, that's why I made double white on my my ward. I will. Or pro white. A little scary. Um, t 
trying to figure out if if I if if I swing in with Draneth to let Claymore out the cage if it's gonna just immediately get my ass killed or not is the big question. Um and I'm a little worried about it. Uh it's a really powerful Sarah with the planeswalker on board. I, yeah. I think Rachel knows that one. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It, it gives me like a two turn clock if if I ha if I don't have uh, Reachy Creechies. Um, so I'm like I'm tempted to do it just to put because I don't I don't know necessarily that they're gonna come at me because I don't have half a combo piece on the table. Um. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's, let's fuck around and, and see if we find out. I'm going to come after James in the air for three, and we'll come at Claymore on the ground with the... I'll take the three. The Draneth, uh... Ooh, tempting to come at Dalsum and be greedy, but I might just get Dalsum blocked with the Draneth out there. That's, that's the big question. Does, do I... Does... Oh, because it's a 1-3. It's a 1-3. They would just bounce. Right. You can block... Okay, gotcha. You could block both of them easily. Right. Um. Right. So it's just the Draneth coming at you and the uh, the the Drake in the air at, uh, at James. Yep, I take the 3. Okay. All right. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll block you with my... I still have my Sarah. Yep. Up. Is that cool with you? Yeah, you, yeah that's, do you, that's fine. No, uh, do your things have death touch or something? Uh, no, I've got, <laughs> I can reanimate it, but like the part of my uh, thinking in this is like actually letting you out the cage to wreak a little bit of havoc and pressure. Uh, ideally, Jamie, but we'll see if it ends up pressuring me. Uh, I'm not going to reanimate it. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you didn't have to tell me that, but uh, that does help. I will we'll block you with this, sir. Uh, and I'll draw two. Um, I will look at the two, and I will. I will gain seven. No oh, six. Sorry. Yeah, you get a lot of mana. I'm not going to pay. Four. So Trusky, let's see. Um, I will drop. A, so you can get two treasures, James. Uh, I'm going to drop a Temple Garden. Uh, yeah, tro uh, tro Toski doubles down on the um, the drawing cards effect. And I will tap one with the Temple Garden. Did I take my two? I'll take two. Um, and I will play an Avacyn's and pass the turn. Uh, end of turn. I'll. Uh, I will pay a white to return flickering ward back to my hand. Yep. And I'll go one, two, three, or. Uh, let's see. Or, um, God, I, I can't believe I forgot the, the freaking split second card's name off the top of my head. It's uh, the, a different tithe. language. Prowl Crows and Grip, your Smothering okay. Tithe, Alan. Okay. Yeah, I uh, notably cannot respond. <laughs> 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 I, will, I will not respond to that. I'll choose not right, to I'll respond. Go to my turn. I will draw. Um, interesting. Is there a way I can do this? I don't think so. Oh, 
I don't have my deck fully memorized from my top of my head. I do need to have that memory, but I don't have it right now, so I'm not going to look through my deck right now. Totally fine. What was that? Totally fine, I said, yeah. Um, be... I'm currently thinking about what I have in my deck. Sorry, uh, I'm going to need like 30 seconds. Nope. All right, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see. One, two... And how many cards are in your hand, uh, Bear Claymore? And Sorry, how many cards uh, are in your hand for Alan? Four. Big zero. Four cards. I guess I'll just do the safe route here. And I will go one, two, three, and use my treasures. Four, five, four, five six, six. Uh -oh. or farewell for creatures, mm -hmm. artifacts, graveyards. Uh, creatures, artifacts, and graveyards, not enchantments. Pretty good. Creatures, hmm. artifacts, and... Graveyards. Graveyards, huh? Uh, I'll have to pass priority on that. Tough. Um, creatures, artifacts, and graveyards, I mean... huh? Harsh. Uh... Yeah, and that's that is sweet. Then it exiles everything. Yep. Yes. I guess in mm -hmm. response, I guess in response to that, I'll crack my lotus petal for the, the black. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, sneaky. Uh, sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. Oh, brood, that's so brutal. Uh, yeah, sure, that happens. Ooh. I'm gonna cast dark ritual and and. I'm not so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and all graveyards, are, all graveyards are exiled as well. So I guess that Lotus Petal still gets exiled. Yeah. Wasn't so sneaky, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. <laughs> Oof. That was insane. Okay. Well, um, draw for turn. Uh, I'll tap... Four, uh, I'm gonna cast the shy. Yep. It's a one one. Yep, that's good for me. Untap. Oh, and, and you, you're not paying two for smothering ties, so I get a, a, a treasure token. Indeed, yeah. I. And would you like to pay two? I'm also going to decline payment. Uh, I'll drop a land for turn, and I will tap. Got six, big boy. Dawson. And I will pass it. Uh, Heliod was not a creature? It was not a creature. Really? Yeah, my, my devotion was three. It's only white devotion. Yeah. yeah, only white. Huh. Okay. Okay, I'll start my turn. Yeah, off to you. Draw. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with I'm going to go ahead and go Idealic uh, Tutor. Yep. Uh, get a counter. On your shy? Yes.
My deal tutor will get Um, it's going to get Sanctum Weaver. All right. I'm going to use two treasures to cast Sanctum Weaver. Then you get another counter on your bird. Thank you. And I will pass my turn. Uh, Paracan 13 with the follow. Thank you. I'll draw. Hmm. And then would you like to pay the two? I uh, will not. You can get the treasure. I'd like to pay a red and a colorless to put a toxic extortionist on the stack. Um, and you will get one, two, three, three mana. How many enchantments do you have? One, two, three. Oh my gosh, never mind. Four, five. You and get treasures. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You get five treasures. Yeah. Didn't you just get a second treasure off of my draw? Or you were at zero treasures? Before I was at my zero draw? treasures. Okay, gotcha. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, you can get five treasures. All right. I'll go grab a number five this um i'll use this five because jessica that's uh, a big verb um she comes in with two if it resolves how many cards do you have in hand one I'm going to kind of spell that. Okay. Ishai trigger on the stack. Yep. One more. Um, Is there, it's my understanding that, that, can, that can, that can like destroy things, right? It can deal damage to stuff. Yes. As yeah. well. Yeah. You With, can either uh, triple Ishai or blow up your weaver. Connor, Connor's pill on the stack. Mm. You, how much mana you have left? Just the one treasure? Yeah. Um, I'll pay two to um, unsubstantiate your counter spell. Nice. Okay. Uh, and Jessica resolves with three loyalty. With three, that's true. Thank you. Um, oh shit, Spikes. What's up, Spike Feeders? Hey, Spike Feeders, Whoa. what's up? 13-month streak, too. Big love out here. All right. Uh, I'd like to zero Jessica, targeting Ishai. Yeah, you will. Move to combat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, attack on James for... This is three times four. Twelve. I take twelve. Twelve commander. Pretty good. <laughs> and then move to NSIP. Does a single Passive. commander have to do all the 21, oh. or does that combine with both yeah. commanders? Each one is separate, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, big draw. Oh, nice. Right on time. Uh, land for Turner's homeward path. We will... 
Sorry, big thank yous as always. Um, I'll pay it. Yep. Yeah, we'll tap the forest and leave up. Or I guess I got two forests out here. Um. Sanctum Weaver, an O2. Dumb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's crazy. The O2 can actually block you. Yeah, you can do big blocks. I hate it. Uh, big blocks. <laughs> I want I want block if you attack me and not Jessica. Oh. All right. Sure. Um, I'll swing in with Dalsum for one. Okay, we'll take the one. It untaps. I draw a card. Would you like to play the two? Uh, damn it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Um, this time I am... Mm... Would you like to open up my counterspell mana? Yeah, that's true. I'm going to, sadly, I am going to pay, <laughs> uh, and I'll ship to you. Big pass. Big pass. I'll draw. Zero cards, everyone. Zero cards. Um, I'll go ahead and start off by using a treasure and this Bountiful Promenade to cast Grand Abolisher. Pretty good. Last priority. Uh, and your boy Heliod uh, is still, still an enchantment, not a creature. Correct. Mm -hmm. Suck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's up to four now. That's it's four. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. I think we're I think we're big dead. Um Yeah. It's a big walking ballista on your hand. Well no, because the walking ballista you can't cast it for one and then activate it. Yeah, it has to have two. Um uh, oh, but the Sanctum Weaver taps for like a billion. Um Sanctum, Sanctum Weaver taps for a lot. One, two, three. It taps for four mana right now. I will respond. Okay. I'm going to tap for one, and I'm going to turn your Sanctum Weaver into a fucking car. Uh, it's a <laughs> what? Uh, Swift what configuration. That? It's a vehicle now. You can, you vehicle can still... It's a vehicle artifact with crew five, and it loses all other card types. Oh, I think you, you can, can you still, still tap You can it. still tap it for mana. Yeah, instead. yeah, it doesn't, yeah. Weak. Um... <laughs> it loses all other Wait. card types. It, it reduces his enchantment count. Okay, so then it doesn't mm. do, does. I mean, you can you can take that back if you want. I mean, um, yeah. Well, it's. I mean, I I take it back, and it's it's. Uh, we, yeah, we we die, and you've also got a car. Oh, yes. <laughs> so and, it's and like if no. I take, if I take it back, it just sits in my hand. Um, so unless you want to, unless you want to, you know, use it on something else, I don't know. Isha into a yeah. car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, I, 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 uh, classic bird car. We'll, but yeah, we won't really do anything in this case to Sanctum Weaver for sure. Sure, we'll, 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 we'll keep it in hand. We have known information. All right. Um. So now I get to play my deck. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with. Uh, Blue, 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 or Pemmin's Aura on Sanctum Weaver. Oh. And then I'll yeah. tap it for a lot of mana and untap it with Pemmin's Aura. Infinite mana. Yeah. Oh, that 
makes a lot of manas. It taps for any color, Sanctum Weaver. Yeah, Aww. so it's infinite colored mana. Bonkers. Very good. Um, so now I, I will. I, I should have turned it I, into a fucking car. No. <laughs> well, because no. the you would not have been able to attach the Pemanzora to it. I would. I would. Just, I would just tap it in response, and then on top of my last remaining one mana, because it would reduce my enchantment count. But I would just tap it in response. Well, but you, would, you wouldn't have been. The aura able would have to, fallen, fallen, fallen off of you it. You would not have been able to cast the enchantment. Yeah, because it's no longer a creature. Yeah, so yeah. it's an artifact. <laughs> it would have been a so, car. So it actually would have. It actually would have stopped this infinite combo. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I could, I could, I could counter spell it. You could counter. You can see if you, you could, could counter spell it. Yeah. You yeah, could counter spell. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cast Kavasa. Wait, but so, oh, I guess I guess I can, I guess I no longer have to say is that okay because no one can counter spell. Counterspell. Didn't what did yeah. you counter something with before? You it got unsubstantiated. It got unsubbed. Okay, yes. it got put back in back there. In sense, that's yeah. what. That's how unsub works. Um, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So I All right. uh, I cast Tuvasa, and then I will cast. Isha is gonna be so big though, bear. <laughs> I will cast oh yeah, are you, are you putting counters on it? This is uh, one, That's, two, I mean, three. I can try. <laughs> Rhystic study Unless will draw a card. Pass. That'd be good. He's casting yeah. Rhystic study. Um, <laughs> let's see. That was one. Two, I, I actually three. might. I actually might not win. So we all we all can hold Plus our breath for seven. a second. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm going to cast what I have in my hand. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't know if you you only draw the one. one off of your commander. Um, and uh, since I, let's see, since I cast Tuvasa, Heliod becomes a creature. Heliod's a real boy. And now I don't have, with the, with the, um, with Heliod infinite mana, now we don't have to worry about paying for smothering type. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, there you go. Super off the hook from that. If I would have had a, had the one, I would have won a while ago. Yeah, yeah. That's... Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I guess Tuvasa has a lot of power and toughness. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and... Summon Sickness. Doesn't fly. Notably uh, not fly. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and give Flickering Ward to Tuvasa calling red. Solid. I'll cast a Birds of Paradise. There we go. That's a flat boy. Yep. And it's bird on bird violence. <laughs> it's springtime. Um, let's see. I guess I have to. I have to like hope to not die to the uh, Ishai, which I think I might still die. Um. It's it's. Big enough to do lethal without the zero activation. Yeah, with all these casts. This big burb. What can I do here? What can I do? Um, I'll cast. Actually, how does this work? How how does copying an enchantment work with auras? Um, if you, can I attach it to a creature? I, I, I don't know. Is it know. entering as? Is it entering yes, it's as? A, it's entering as. Mm, I don't think he can, he can target a permanent or a creature. They're asking, is it copy enchantment? Yeah, it's a copy enchantment mm. type of, type effect. Hmm. Well, it, it's not. It's it's cop. It's um. So it can be an aura, but can I attach it? I mean, 
I don't, I don't know because the target of uh, Nora has to be declared on cast. Is that isn't that true? Oh, they're saying I yes, think it's, but you can. I think it's I think it's an ETB trigger. Uh, the first rule because otherwise, if you reanimate an aura, you would never be able to attach it. It says the first ruling in Gatherer is if you choose an aura, you also choose a legal permanent for the copy enchantment copy of it to enchant. Copy enchantment oh, nice. doesn't target that permanent, however, so it can enter the battlefield attached to an untargetable creature. I don't know if that has any bearing, but um, it. Yes, you choose. You do choose a target. I guess. I can thank remember. you, thank you, no vowels, and everyone. And I can also enchant opponents' creatures. If it, if if there's no uh, the aura. limitation, yeah. The aura, yeah. It says depending on the aura, or it can always do that. Depends on the aura. Sometimes it okay. says enchant a creature you control. Sometimes it says enchant a creature. You can't just, in general, always in the magic rules enchant someone else's thing. No. Okay, got it. Okay, interesting. Like if if it if it says enchant creature, then you can hit anything. But if it says enchant creature, you control, then it's limited. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and go with copy enchantment. On Pemmin's aura, mm -hmm. putting the aura. You guys can't. Yeah, you guys can see the Grand Abolisher there, right? Yep, yep. And I will right. put mm -hmm. the Pemmin's aura on Grand Abolisher. I will always. I'll also cast Estrid's Invocation, and copying uh, Pemmin's aura, and equip the Pemmin's aura to Tuvasa. Many. Um, I will also pay two mana to give Heliod lifelink, where it says, or to say other creature, another target creature, just kidding. Um, so I will just attack Heliod into Jessica. Heliod being a five, five, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me think about it. Is is that your end of declare uh, attackers? Declare? Yeah. declare? Uh, yeah, everything else is summon sick. Okay. I'll block with that dark side. It's good. Oh, yeah. The, it's pro white. That's right. Is the, what is? Um, the flickering ward giving it pro white? or oh, the, the ward's on Tuvasa. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, and then I'm going to pass. Mm -hmm. right. And let me know if you want to pay two after you draw. Um, Putting the that, ward on the birds is probably... I'll draw. I will... Um, you add and Tuvasa is moment? a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Okay. Um, questions. Uh, uh, are you out of treasures at the moment? I have. Well, I mean, I have infinite mana at any time. But yeah, I'm out of treasures. Oh, you're right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I won't pay for the treasure. You can get it. Okay. Won't make a difference. Then... Just make so you aware that... that I'm not pulling any, any like, um, sneakies or anything. Pimenzor can give flying. Okay. Got it. And uh, interesting. And also, it can give have... hexproof. It can give hexproof. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh... I see now. Okay, I I get it now. Um, the flying is clutch. Yep. <laughs> They can get. Well, no. Let's see what happens. I'll move to combat, and uh, well, let me think about it. I will. You can get infinite mana at any time. That's true. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just move to combat with Ishai at 12-12. I didn't activate Jessica. And how many cards in your hand? One. Um, and it's just a, it, doesn't, it doesn't have any key, other keywords in flying, right? Yeah. No, yeah. just flying. Uh, I'm going to block it with, I'll move to blocks. Uh, mm -hmm. Block with Birds of Paradise. Yep, sounds good. No effects. You got it. Okay. Hmm. What should I do here? Yes, it does get Shroud, that actually, not Hexproof. That's a good shout. It gives Shroud, not Hexproof. It just can't be the target of spells or abilities by any player. Got it. So, yeah, I cannot even do this. So, to do to each of up to three targets. Yeah, I won't. I won't. I, I don't want to hit Dalsim. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Go for it. You said pass. Pass. All right. It's your time to shine, Alan. Uh, I don't know about none of that. Uh, I'm gonna draw. Just go ahead. That doesn't get us anywhere. Um. Big rift. And uh, I'm assuming I'm assuming you're giving me another treasure, Alan. Yeah, you're good. Treasure yeah. time. Yeah, sadly, I don't have anything that's going to get us anywhere, I don't think. Um, you've got how many cards in hand, James? One. One. Two, three. And you've got one also, Claymore? Hmm. I'm kind of ass out right now. Uh, I will come in at uh, bear for one on the ground. I'll take it. So it untaps. I draw. Give me treasure. Yep. <laughs> that draw notably not help. Um. Thinking about the lists. Sorry, think, thinking about what's in the list. Bear with me just a second. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's much I can do to get out of this, unfortunately. This game's going on much longer. I kind of feel bad that Rachel's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> yeah, I was going to okay. say. I hopped off. Uh early and did not play well. I'm thinking about what I have done. <laughs> In reminiscing mode? Oh, yeah. I was trying to do some gold fishing, but it's also really hard to gold fish a, con a, a, a combo deck because <laughs> it's not representative of anything. Yeah, I guess you can, like, you can like pretend someone's interacting with you, but like. Yeah. And you can also d have someone not interact with you if it's convenient. <laughs> but, you know, I did. I did find. I don't remember where. I, I need to look it up. I did find a suggestion from um, another player that actually helps me goldfish a lot, which is um, he he had printed or or established. A number of uh, responses based on rolling. Uh, I think it's a d20. Mm. So every time you play something, you roll a d20, and depending on on what that uh, falls on on the list, then it could be countered. Ooh, it could cool. be just uh, uh, I, I don't know. 
uh, a flash flashing some something else, mm -hmm. etc. I mean, it's it's like giving or having another play, but it's it's still just like a one v one, not really yeah. representative of commander, but it's something. Oh, yeah, at least it gives you stuff to react to. Uh, I'm gonna tap one for mom, and oh, nice. I will. Oh, it's so dumb, so grindy right now. Um, <laughs> like there's no real. That's that farewell put everyone so far back. Yeah, there's no real getting around it. It's just like gonna be a dumb grind where we get punched. Um. Yeah, I think Tuvasa will start cleaning things up pretty yeah, soon. If, if anything, just with attacks. Tuvasa's gonna have a lot yeah. of commander damage. Yeah, that's um, that's what I mean. Hi guys. Uh, we'll, we'll attempt to mitigate. Uh, I'm gonna tap one more. I'm gonna drop a death, deafening silence. That's um, pretty relevant. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually thinking about that one. Well, um, actually, well, I mean, oh, sorry, I have a risk study on the board, but I'm sorry, uh, I missed the trigger off the mother of runes. But I mean, would you like to pay for those cards? I will pay for the. Uh... Sure, I'll pay for them both. Um, Deafening Silence is a card. Mm -hmm. Um. Huh. So that's a card that, like, if I get a tutor, I can't, I can't even, yeah, I'm going to counter that. I'm going <laughs> to counter spell that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no responses. Yes, I'm at. I guess I'm at 14 or something on Ishai. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, because I cast... Would have been three spells that turn? Uh, I oh, will five. pass from there. Um, End of turn, I'll make a billion mana with things in Sanctum Weaver, and I will tap one for to bring... I'll bring Flipping Ward back to my hand. I mean, nobody can if you if you can give yeah. your commander shroud like nobody's really gonna. Yeah. Giving it protection gets it through blockers. Yep, it's the main thing. Yep. Uh, I'll start. I'll untap. Start my turn. Mm -hmm. Come on, oh. card. Also, we can get a life link, which is gross. Can I draw my, uh, can I draw my deck? No, Tuvasa only draws one card a turn. Mm-hmm. Until I just drew I did all of blossoms for turn. Now there you okay. go. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with it. I make infinite mana. Um, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. I'm I'm just gonna get this treasure out of the way. One, two, three, four. Um, I had a lot of blossoms. This will draw me a card. This every um, whenever it or another enchantment enters the battlefield that I control, draw a card. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm going to play with my infinite mana. I'm going to play Mesa Enchantress. I'm going to play Flickering Ward on um, Idolon of Blossoms. Okay, which now is, which, I will. Yeah. Now you have, now which is going to draw me two cards, and then I'm going to add it back to my hand and cast it again. It draws me two cards, and I draw my whole deck, and I win with um, Walking Ballista. Okay. Uh, All right. I tapped it was down the a response there, right? I was going to respond, but I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I put all the cards. Cannot in the respond. I cannot respond because I tapped down the wrong uh, mana. I you can you can respond with an oh. ability, but I have Grand Abolisher. Oh yeah. right. Yep. That's okay. what I mean. I cannot respond. I will. That's that's why I was like kind of playing fast, but I apologize that um you can activate abilities right now. Yep, that's fair. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna draw my whole deck, and then until I get Walking Ballista, so I'm just gonna like do that. I, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's in the rules and whether you want me to play it out for like a, any videos or something that you're doing or footage, but uh, what, you guys can all scoop it up if you want. One more time, what was the win? Uh, I'm going to draw cards until I draw Walking Ballista. Yep. And I'm going to cast Walking Ballista for infinite mana, whenever I draw it. <laughs> yep. 